Welcome back to Everything Money. In this video, we will give you a NEO stock update. We'll go over the financials of this EV company using our software. We'll tell you what you should be paying for NEO moving forward using our stock analyzer tool. And if you want to trade this company with Mo and the BidNest Nation, he'll show you all the charts and trends. But first, why should you watch this video? I bring your questions about NEO, this Chinese EV company, to a couple guys who own and operate over $100 million in real estate, multiple businesses, and stocks. And they'll help us with a mindset investing in this new company and the pitfalls that may be ahead. I present to you Paul Gabriel. Thank you very much. So guys, first off, follow us on Instagram, Everything Money Investing. It's our new Instagram account and follow us personally. So our mothers are very proud of us. Yes. So this is our Everything Money software. We'll go to the eight pillars tool. We'll type in Neo. So Neo is the Chinese EV company. Um, they've been around for a while, have they not? Uh, they've been public since 2019. They debuted around six bucks a share. They're not 42. Wow, look at this surge. Look at this price surge. Holy cow, they were over 60 bucks a share. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get into the eight pillar analysis. NEO is a $66 billion company. Pillar number one, we want their five year PE to be under 22.5. Uh oh. It don't exist. <laughs> okay, so let's just skip to the income statement <laughs> and see the data we have. So, guys, there's massive growth here. Look at the growth. In 2017, they had no revenue. Then 237 million, 1.3 billion, 1.95, 5 billion. Guys, growth is awesome. Growth is one of the most important parts of every company when evaluating it. If two companies have the exact same revenue and profit today, but one has 20% revenue growth potential, the other one has 5%, which one do you pay more for? 20%, of course. So for those of you who think that I'm, I don't understand growth, I would like you to go F yourself because okay. growth is, an, is one of the most important parts of any valuation. <laughs> I will show you soon and the stock gone. analyzer tool, which will discuss revenue growth as the very first line, the very first line of all analysis. The point is you shouldn't overpay for growth. You lemmings out there who believe that anything growing should be paid whatever price for, you don't realize that's what you're saying when you do it. So mm -hmm. let's look at the profit. Well, I lied. We can't use stock analyzer tool because this company hates making money. So they lost 200 million, lost a billion, lost 2 billion, lost a billion, lost 500 million. The good news is losses are decreasing. So one of the things I would want to do as an investor is understand their path to profitability because it's okay to lose money. I have eight, nine business upstairs. Every single one of them lost money when I started. That didn't mean they were worth zero. It just meant that, okay, but where's the path to profitability? And when they do get profitable, what's it going to look like? We want to be able to compare Neo to other car companies. Those of you who say they aren't like a car, they aren't a car company, refer back to my first statement. Go F yourself. They're a car company. They sell cars. I don't care if the cars are powered by electricity, gasoline, nitrogen, hydrogen, whatever it is, it's a car company. Their car sales are slowing down, Paul. In September, they? they sold 10,000 units, and then now in October, only 3,600. Wow. Down 27% year over year. Year over year, they had a decrease? Yes. Wow. They're not selling as many now. They only sold 66,000 cars this year. They are good-looking cars, by the way. Mm-hmm. So, guys, this is a recap of how we look at companies. I look at companies as a pres all investments are present value of all future cash flow. If I were to give you this stream of cash flow for the next five years, what would you pay for it? It's $15 total. Would you pay $20 for it? Of course not. Why would I pay $20 to get $15? That's what you could be doing with all these hype companies because you don't know what you don't pay attention to the cash flow. Heck, if it's negative one, negative two, and then three, four, five, that's a cash flow. That's $12 of cash flow over the next, sorry, that's $9 of cash flow over the next five years. What would you be willing to pay for it? One, of course. Two, of course. Three, of course. Even with a negative start, you can still make money because the pot future is positive. So part of your goal as an investor is to figure out where are they going their profitability. We use our software for that exact reason. We analyze the companies. We look at their income statements, the balance sheets. We use our eight pillar analysis to just to look at the companies and say, where do these companies stand? And what does it look like? What questions do I need to ask? Because the eight pillars tell us a story. And then when they're profitable or you have some idea of profitability, you can use our very famous stock analyzer tool mm -hmm. to put the assumptions for growth, profit margin, free cash flow, PE, price of free cash flow and the desired return to, to, to find out exactly what you should pay for the company based on those assumptions. Because we don't know the future. 
the future in any investment's unknown. That's why all, all value investors are different. They value things differently because nobody knows what the future is going to be. If I had a company that made a billion dollars today, but it was going to zero tomorrow, it's worth a lot less than a company making 100 million and 200 million. And for the rest of the time, will increase by $100 million a year. That's the point. I'm trying to just teach a process and trying to have people who understand like, wait a second, I can't overpay for good news. Because if, if there's no such thing, you might sit there and say, well, Paul, I'm not going to pay $500 a share for Neo. Why not? Mm-hmm. Tesla was at $60 a share just two years ago. Now it's at seven, a thousand a share. People would have said, and people, I remember people a year, two years ago saying, well, $60 a share is fine, but five or six, but the second it goes to five or 600, they're like, well, that's fine, but it won't be 5,000. I guarantee if Tesla went to $5,000 a share tomorrow, every Tesla bull would be even more pro Tesla, even though previously they had said, well, it's not really worth 5,000 a share. That's just the way it works. It's emotion. It's recency bias. You sit there and see the recent stock skyrocketing and Neo has a ton of potential, ton of potential. Let them earn it. Just like the analogy I always give, don't go to your local high school baseball team and give the number one player a $30 million a year contract. Why not? They could be the next Mike Trout or Bryce Harper. Yeah, they could be, but let them get there first. Let them first prove to the numbers that they actually are that player. Then give them $30 million a year. If you don't understand that analogy, Mm -hmm. I don't have to tell you. If you've been burned by Neo this year by watching any of the other YouTubers who, who might not be investors, they're just talking heads, we welcome you into our channel for a little more uh, rational r- rational realism. And I, I'm, this saddens me, Paul, to think how many videos in this world with people just with like their heads are exploding and there's fire emojis everywhere about Neo is the best thing. And, and then they sell 3,600 cars in a month? I mean, this is just After like, selling... So what's the market cap for NEO? Oh, boy. The market cap for NEO is currently... 66 6 billion. billion. 66 billion. Yep. Guys, do me a favor. Go out there and look at any other car company out there and see what their market cap is. <laughs> They're selling for 13 times sales. The average car company sells for less than one time sales. What does that mean again for normal people like me, Paul? So you look at their sales for the year, 5 billion. The average car company, if they had 5 billion in sales, would be selling for 3 billion to $5 billion dollars. Market cap, and this one's at sixty-six billion. The only one that did not is Tesla. Why? Because Tesla's not a car company, even though ninety percent of its revenue comes from cars. Mm-hmm. They have a sweet cafeteria. It could be a food company. That is true. Never know. So, anyways, there are ways to make money in Neo. How else can they make money, Seth? If you're looking to trade Neo at a quicker pace, you can join Mo in the Bitnest Nation. He'll show us how to take advantage of people's stupidity and trade this puppy. Go ahead. The ways to do it are the same as you do it with the video we just did on Palantir. Use a swing trading chart and use a day trading chart. Do not, I do not think that you should be in this for a long term because you have this crazy up and down and you're going to get burned. Any news can send this thing one way or the other. So just look at what we have here. What are we zoomed out to? This is the whole summer. You could have made money up, down, up, down, up, down. So all of these ups and downs, this is your sweet spot. You're going right through the sweet spot, making these little these little profits. Coming right down, making that little profit in that little three-day period. Here, if you want to be in it for a little bit longer, this is a five-day run right here. This is a five-day drop right here. So every time you're in these little sweet spot areas, that's where you make money, whether you're, whether you're going long or going short. So you can absolutely make money on this thing. If you want to come over to swing trading, I mean, day trading chart, a little bit of quicker pace, I'm sure that... Any day, you can come in here at some point. Let's see here. So the, yesterday morning, you could have made a little money right here. More importantly, what I would do, I would probably stick with this just on a swing trading chart. But on days that there's crazy news or there's some battery drop or something like that, that's when I would go and day trade this because you can make a killing from people's complete irrationality. So if you want to come and learn these rules from me, from any trading perspective, come and join me. You get the Trading 101 series. You get the Employed Trader series, which is six stocks that I go through every single day with you if you don't have time to sit at your computer every day. You get my monthly seminars and you get a Discord community of 900 people that all think the same as you and all want to trade and make money just like you. Of all the hesitations we've shown in our Alibaba videos in the past, but we've sort of overcome about China, I've never seen folks mentioning this about Neo. I think oh, the, that's the, interesting. The hype and EV ness point. just uh, overpowers well, any hesitations you might have in investing in Chinese well, companies. Well, just because the company is China doesn't make it a Chinese company. See what I did there? Yes. 
See what I did there? I didn't actually. Well, you know, they sell cars, but they're not a car company. <laughs> well, they're in China, but they're not a Chinese company. But they talk to people from America, so so they talk to people American. from America. And there's a few people in the company who speak English, so therefore they're not a Chinese. And company. how many people tell us that Bob was going to get delisted and like you're gonna, we're going to lose everything on this thing? Hey, so, more power to so him. Before we wrap, I got a question for you. When it comes to this EV, where they drop the battery out and like, what's the deal? Well, I have seen videos of these stations. You know, you basically drive into like an oil chain station yeah. and they plop them in and out. So, I, when so, we did this video a year ago, I was questioning, did they have the infrastructure in wow. China? And they, they do. They do. They say they're going to build 700 next year, 700 more stations. Now, Paul, listen to this. You pay $10,000 less for the car. Instead of charging your car, you drive to a station, sit on top of something, drop the battery out, swap it back in, and you go. There's no charging. When you say you pay $10,000 less for you the car. You pay $10,000. So if you want a, if you want a permanent battery in your car, your car is going to be 10000 more. You charge it just like a, any other EV. If you want to do the swap, you could pay 10000 less. Do they charge you per battery swap, yeah. though? How yeah. much? I don't know. That's what I need to know. That's what I wrote in my notes. I was like, this is interesting, but it seems to me like, how is that going to balance out over a long period of time? What's the... Now, I will say, I do like the fact that their, their earnings are getting better and better. They're losing less money every year. And they their third quarter cars went up 100% deliveries. So they're Yeah, but their growing. month to month was bad. Well, and yeah. they had a year-to-year -year decline, too. Yeah, of course. But, guys, but, that can happen. Yeah. Just I mean, it's a remember, it's a long-term game. To me, though, the whole goal is you can weather the storm of that one if you pay an, an adequate price for the company with our ample margin of safety. But you're not doing that with this company. You, you has, it has to hit on all cylinders. No pun intended. <laughs> so anyways, I'm avoiding it. But there are other car companies to look at and use our software for. Come on. That was a great joke. There's no cylinders in that car, Paul. Oh, damn it. <laughs> 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 oh boy it's like saying when the rubber meets the road and you're talking about boats <laughs> <laughs> yeah same analogy Seth <laughs> all right that is our take on Neil we'll keep you updated um when this when this uh stock costs maybe like five bucks we're interested but at uh 40 bucks we are not not I don't know if I'm interested in five bucks but we'll talk about it later final thumbs up comment below see you in the community Bye -bye. Bye -bye.